Today's Flash Briefing is brought to you by Power Credit Union, proudly serving Southern Colorado. Visit a location today and be empowered. I'm Rob Quirk. Take a look at your screen. Investigators just released photos of three people wearing full face mask hoodies, believed to be the ones who intentionally set fire to a home in Denver early this month, killing a family of five. $14,000 reward being offered with anyone with information leading to an arrest. Tracking two new fires in southern Colorado. Crews in the process of containing the one at Flores and Fossil Beds National Monument. Crews have gotten the upper hand on a fire that broke out between Wetmore and Wet Westcliff. That is under control. Air resources have been called off. The governor's issued a new statewide ban on all campfires as Colorado currently has multiple active wildfires, widespread drought, no relief of any rain in the near future. That ban in place for the next 30 days. Still no word yet on when I-70 could reopen between Gypsum and Glenwood Springs. It's been closed more than a week now because of the Grizzly Creek fire, the top fire priority in the nation. It's now burned more than 25,000 acres, just 4% contained. And let's get a weather check right now from our Mike Daniels. Thank you, Rob. Very close to record heat again today. 99 in Pueblo, missing the all-time record high of 103. Colorado Springs even closer. Our official high 94. All-time record high for the day, 95 degrees. Even hotter across other parts of Colorado. Canyon City, a high of 100. La Junta, 100. Hot spot in the state right there. Lamar, 102 degrees. Not as cool tonight as the past couple of nights. 60 in the spring, 61 one in Pueblo. Little better chance of landing one of those PM thunderstorms tomorrow. Temperatures a couple degrees cooler than what we had on Tuesday. Rob. Mike, thanks and keep it here on News 5 now for continuing coverage and of course the news is always on at KOAA.com. I'm Rob Quirk. Thank you for listening to today's News 5 Flash Briefing sponsored by Power Credit Union.